Yes, it's lepto and the outbreaks. LA, LA County Health confirming they have outbreaks out here on the west side, some in the San Fernando Valley. It's a disease associated with rats' waste. And at least one local vet is pointing to the homeless encampments around dog parks like this one. It was terrifying. To see her now healthy dog very sick with leptospirosis or lepto, the bacterial disease associated with rats' urine or feces is suddenly exploding among West Side dogs. If I saw a dozen cases in 38 years of practice in West LA and I'm a specialist, that's it. And now all of a sudden, um, in, in the last couple to three weeks, we have a couple dozen or more positives. Uh, another couple of dozen suspected. And that doesn't count from some of the facilities just up the street where they've told me that they've seen 40 to 50. LA County Health reports a large increase in the number of cases in July, warning of outbreaks in doggy daycares. That's where Lauren's dog got infected. He couldn't stand up. He couldn't eat. I thought maybe he pulled a muscle in his back legs and was having a hard time standing up. He's only 10 months old. The dogs do get better with antibiotics if the infection is diagnosed early, which is a problem because lepto is usually seen in rural areas. But it's not like a hundred dogs from West LA went to Glacier National Park and drank from a stream and brought it back here. So you have to start saying, why is this here now? And the only thing that's changed are the urban slum homeless encampments and the rat infestations that are associated with it. He says the rat population has exploded in the parks where dogs are usually walked, where tents have multiplied like those around Westwood's West Wolf Dog Park. We've had a few of them come in with lepto from that park. It's a zoonotic disease. It goes from animals to people and from people to animals. Now, with that said, LA County Health saying they've had no human cases. In terms of dogs, there is a vaccine, so you may want to ask your veterinarian about that. I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys. Christina, never heard of this before. So, what are the symptoms to look out for? I've got dogs. Yeah, you know what? Initially, there is excessive drinking of water and excessive urination, even beyond what your dog would do on a hot day. Then there is a loss of appetite and lethargy, extreme lethargy. You heard of the woman talking about her dog collapsing, and then fever, and then when it progresses, the eyes begin to yellow because that's the signal of kidney disease. But if you catch it early, again, there is pretty effective treatment. And one more thing, younger dogs are the ones who get worse with this thing. So keep that in mind. Back to you guys. Wow. All right. Good to know. Thank you. Yeah.